Well, in response to numerous requests from various natural perfumers, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to use pipettes. Now, I gather natural perfumers bunked off chemistry or they were too busy writing poetry or um, <clears throat> other artistic pursuits. Basically, um, using pipettes is quite simple. Um, the reason we do it is for its accuracy. And um, I'm going to propose using pipette fillers because um, if you don't use pipette fillers, you can't really see what's going on. And um, you can also get saliva in there, which is, which is not a very good idea. So, see, without using that, you can... Oh, fuck. <laughs> you better not do that. See, it's a mess, and there's now saliva in your... Um, in your um, customer's perfume. So, we'll just wait for that to drain. In fact, if you want to get a lot more in, you can speed it up, you get patient by blowing, and you get even more saliva in there, basically. And that, I mean, that's useless now, we can't use it. Mm. Well, that's mank. <clears throat> right, so, pipette filler and a one mil pipette. Basically, you insert, there's a silicon housing in there that forms a seal, so you push it in quite tightly and then screw this up to lock it in place. Okay? Now, the important thing is that where the um, graduations are should be facing you. The graduations need to be in line with this lever here. I usually keep my pipettes standing upright uh, in a measuring cylinder. As you can see, there's various sizes of measuring cylinder here. Uh, they've got a good stable base. Uh, 25 mils would be the largest pipette that I'd ever use. And after that, I would go into cylinders. So this is a 250 mil cylinder. It's quite stable. Uh, I keep alcohol in there and I keep the pipettes charged with alcohol, which also keeps them clean. The reason that we put the graduations here is so we can read the scale. Now, to fill the pipette, we roll this, this wheel and that pushes a plunger up to load the pipette. You insert the pipette into uh, the liquid to charge it, in this case, alcohol. So you roll until it comes up to the graduation you want. Now here I've filled it right the way up. And the point of this is that it's accurate down to one hundredth of one mil. Okay? Accuracy is really important, as you can see. <clears throat> Let's assume that we want to use um, several extracts. I do them in, when I know which ones I'm going to do, I put them in the order of the, the, the faintest smelling one first with the heaviest one last. So here I've got four. Green Mandarin. Frankincense. One of my happy smells, the Hay Absolute. And... Oak moss. Now these are all extracts, okay? So they're very strong, single note fragrances. And we're gonna start with a green mandarin. And I would do it like so. So insert the pipette into the liquid. Charge the pipette. Then in order to empty the pipette, there are two ways of doing it. One can either reverse the wheel, which pushes the plunger down, and that gives you a fast discharge. If you're doing this into a small bottle, it's, it's necessary to direct the tip of the pipette against the side of the bottle to stop it from splashing. Alternatively, 
the top of this lever, if one pushes it in, it basically opens a valve, <laughs> um, a little bit like a clarinet or a saxophone, and it allows air in at the top, so the pipette will discharge itself slowly through gravity. As, as I've discharged the green mandarin into this bottle, I now, while I depress the lever, I move the plunger up to the top, and then I push it down again slowly, just to um, exclude all of the, the, all of the contents. And the tip of this pipette is so fine that um, the, the amount coming out is smaller than a drop. I now put the pipette back into my measuring cylinder. The reason is because it's upright and it allows it to drain. Okay, so whilst that's draining, I open the top of my next one, which was frankincense, and it still is frankincense. And <clears throat> finally, there's just a tiny little, little bit at the bottom. So what I do is I put that back into the bottle, okay? And put the lid on so there are no accidents <clears throat> and no mistakes. And then again, I add the frankincense to the green mandarin. Uh, I'm using the wheel to make it happen quickly and I'm deflecting the jet from the side of the bottle to stop it from splashing. Okay, so likewise, the pipette goes back upright, take the bottle, take the top off my hay absolute. Before I fill it, I just open the top again by pressing this lever in and up the wheel. Now that's just to fill it with air and then I slowly discharge it so every last job of frankincense goes in there. Now the reason that I'm doing it this way is because the green mandarin is a much fainter smell than the frankincense and so the, the, the contamination is absolutely minimal and it saves you having to clean or use a different pipette for each one. So, as before, top on. And then over to the happy smell from Italy. We charge it again. Now, you notice that, uh, I know what you're, if you're, if you're um, <coughs> short-sighted like me, you can, you can hold it up. And the amount of control that you have by rolling this wheel at the top of the pipette, um, I can even guess uh, uh, the graduations on here are one hundredth of one mil. But when I'm looking at it this closely, I, could, I can move the wheel so slowly that I can divide one hundredth of a mil into three visually. Okay. Look. And again into the bottle, off the side to prevent splashing, so I've got the required amount. Any remainders back into the bottle. And then allow to drain vertically. While I fit my final bottle. So then, Last dregs back into there, cap on. Move away, no whoopsies. And then finally into the oak moss. Now, you can also see here, because these have all been made into extracts, those um, single note fragrances, they're all, um, <clears throat> they're all the same consistency. And so, you know, those of you who make solid perfumes and have such fun with gums and resins, um, this is why basically I work with extracts. So same again, any contamination from the hay absolute into the oak moss was absolutely minimal and the oak moss will dominate it very easily. Okay, 
So then when I've actually finished, what I do now is I return my pipette to the, um, <clears throat> the measuring cylinder with the alcohol in, and then I just fill it with alcohol, and I leave it there ready for use. And so any thing on the inside of that pipette will dissolve in the alcohol, and then it will be um, absolutely clean and ready. And then however often you want to change the alcohol, it really depends on how much you're blending and your use. And if you're any good, you should be able to sell that as one of your um, famous secret blends anyway.